Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. I hope you're doing well today. I've got a pale ale to review for you this evening and it's a pale ale from a relatively new brewery that are quite local to me. They're from Buntingford in Hertfordshire and they're called Baron and this is their Bench Warmer Pale Ale. There is the Baron logo. Uh, they've been around oh, a couple of years or so now I think off the top of my head but this year they've really picked up started picking up a bit of traction. So bench warmer pale ale coming in at 5.8% ABV. Um, they're a one-man band, as far as I'm aware. A guy called Jack. Um, he runs the brewery off of a, a site on a farm in Buntingford. And uh, it's got a little bit of a flavour text on it. It says, ludicrous display last night. Bench warmer is a highly hot Citra and Nelson Sovian pale at 5.8% brewed for the sitters down. Please store cold and drink fresh. Nerdy bits. I like this. A super soft water profile with wheat and oats mashed at equal weights for some fluffiness. All dry hop additions at 15 degrees and ruffled about for about two days. Um, Jack, the guy who runs the brewery, um, he, did his, he did his work. He did his due diligence. He did his homework. He studied brewing. I believe it was a university in Scotland. I might, I might have that wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure it was in Scotland he studied brewing and he's well into his water conditioning and the water in Hertfordshire isn't the best it's not particularly soft and it sometimes tastes a bit funny um, so he's all about water conditioning and making sure it's the best quality so he can get the best quality beer to us so I'm all about that and fair play to him I've not had this one before um, everything I've had from Baron so far I've been really impressed with but this is the first one I've actually reviewed on the channel um, so bench warmer let's get it out of this can 500 ml cans by the way i like that i like that a good amount of beer oh it's a lively one but it hasn't quite overflowed the can just a touch let's get into the glass see what it's all about like i say i've I, I done a bit of research on on the brewery before i, I purchased some and i know say this guy is all about the water conditioning He's not underestimating the importance of the quality in the water in his beer. And um, like I say, he knows what he's on about. So I'll leave that can here so we can see it. There's the beer in the glass. It is a bright, gold, hazy-looking pale ale. A bit of carbonation sticking to the sides of the glass. Just trying to knock that off. Um, it's got a solid two to three finger, slightly spacious, foamy white head on it. But it's a beautiful orange colour to it. Beautiful, hazy orange colour. You're not seeing anything through that. Good conditioning on it without rocking the glass too much. It doesn't look like that head is making any attempt to unstick itself from the sides of the glass. Let's get my snout in, see what the aroma is telling us. It's a lovely, soft, tropical, peachy, mango, pineapple aroma. As soon as you add citra into anything, you know what you're going to get generally. There's a touch of pininess to it as well, to be fair. A little bit of bitterness. Slight kind of savoury note coming through on the aroma. But it's soft. It's tropical fruit, but it's soft. Like I say, there's more peach and mango coming through it's not particularly sharp it, it it smells quite inviting it's not trying to put you off it's not trying to scare you off let's get stuck in shall we cheers oh that's good and i spoke a little bit about the water it's very soft it's very very soft it makes it makes it very easy drinking it is juicy it is hoppy all about the hops on this bad boy mm. but the conditioning the softness from the malt bill the body light carbonation oh. i'll tell you what it's drinking like a a 4.5, five tops. It's a 5.8. You can get into a lot of trouble drinking this. This is ridiculously drinkable. I'll give it a wriggle. See if we get any sediment. Yeah. 
give me. Get that bit of yeast. And there's little bits of uh, hop sediments in there. You see that bottom of the glass? We've got a snow globe thing going on. Let's give the beer a bit of a wriggle so we can disintegrate that lot into the beer. Let's see if it adds anything in the way of flavour. Just got about the right amount in the glass to lets me swirl it around without throwing it all over the place. It's just added a little bit to the aroma that has as well, believe it or not. It's slightly more dank now, slightly more strong. Sharp tropical. Passion fruit and pineapple has come to the fore a little bit more. That softness of the peach and the mango is kind of now taking second fiddle. I feel like that's just added a bit of ripeness to it. Definitely, let's get stuck in again. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just added a, a slight, a slightly more sharp tropical flavour. A bit more of a pineapple and a passion fruit note coming through in it. It's just sharpened it up a little bit. But the, the first thing you notice when you drink this beer or any barren beer for that matter, like I say, I've had a few now. It's the softness, it's the water quality. Mm. But it's really drinkable. It's juicy, it's very drinkable. It's light, yet considerable in body. It's drinkable, it's moorish. And at 5.8, that's dangerous. Because like I say, this drinks, like a 4.5, 5% tops, but it's quite boozy. Just starting to sit and grate these hops up a little bit. It's very good. The conditioning, lacing on the glass, a bit of quality. Um, yeah, I'm, I've got a bit of a soft spot. Because they're relatively local, a one-man band. I, I love to support breweries that are doing it for themselves, knocking out beers of this quality. You want them to get bigger. You want them to do well. I mean, look at it. Look at the quality of it. That's exceptional stuff. Oh, yeah. I took a big swig there. Really felt like I got a big old swig of passion fruit. Mm. Tiniest bit of a bitterness now building. The more I drink it, it's the tiniest bit of a sort of slightly, slightly drying bitterness at the back end that's making me want, I mean, I've polished this off. Um, it's making me want to go back for that next mouthful. Um, this is lovely. It's a lovely beer. I say, I say, I've had three or four different ones from Baron now. I had a lager from them as well, and that was very good. That's kind of a, a good style of beer to judge a, a brewery on. When they do a good lager, you know that they mean business. Um, but this is it's cracking. Oh, wow. Yeah, cracking. Cracking. Lovely. Soft mouthfeel. Extremely drinkable. Juicy without being overly so, overly ripe, not overly green with the hops. It's um, it's a wonderfully balanced, extremely drinkable pale ale. And uh, I'm now going to order some more. <laughs> That's a belter. Um, I think Baron are becoming one of my, my finds of the year in terms of brewery. I've been well impressed with everything I've had from them so far. Um, they are local, so I might be a little bit biased, admittedly. Um, I think that's fantastic. Bench Warmer, Baron, check them out. There's the logo. I'll put a link to their website in the uh, the notes below. Do check them out. One man band, local brewery. They need your support. If you don't use them, we'll lose them. Simple as that. Great beer. Really, really nice. I'm going to give that a solid nine out of 10. Bench Warmer from Baron. They're 5.8% pale ale. Nine out of 10 for me. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've really enjoyed doing it. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I really do appreciate that. Until my next one, you take care.